Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang Factoring Polynomials Part 2. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so meron na akong first part of factoring polynomials which is factoring common monomial factor as well as factoring quadratic trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. So ngayon, tutuloy ko lang yung third case which is factoring quadratic trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where this time a is not equal to 1. Okay? Now, we will have the third case which is a quadratic trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 1. So, pwede yung a, pwede 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Or pwede rin negative as long as hindi siya 1. Okay, so unang method that gagamitin natin ay trial and error. Okay, pag sinabi natin trial and error, ibig sabihin nun, wala tayong definite uh, way para malaman yung factors ng tri quadratic trinomial. But instead, Magta-try tayo ng magta-try ng different factors. Let's say dito sa numerical coefficient ng x squared na 3, tsaka yung factors ng constant na 10. Then, hanapin natin kung ano yung magsasatisfy para maging factor ng quadratic trinomial. So, let's try to solve the first example. So, ang unang step, hanapin natin yung factors ng numerical coefficient ng x squared, which is 3 nga. So, pwedeng 1 and 3, right? Ano pa? Pwede negative 1 and negative 3. Okay? Pero usually, kapag trial and error method tapos quadratic trinomial of this form, laging hinahanap lang natin yung puro positive. Okay? So, therefore, isa lang naman yung factors. So, 1 and 3 lang. Ngayon, hanapin din natin yung factors nung constant na positive 10. So, pwede 2 times 5, negative 2 times negative 5. Okay? Kasi pwede rin yun, di ba? Negative times negative is positive. Ano pa? 10 times 1 or negative 10 times negative 1. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin ay mamimili tayo ng isang factor dito sa numerical coefficient ng x squared. Ito nga yun, di ba? Yung 1 tsaka 3. So, let's try to do that. So, gawa tayo ng dalawang parenthesis. Then, sulat natin yung 1 tsaka 3. So, magalagay tayo ng x dito. And then, sulat natin yung 1 tsaka 3. Okay? So, di ba kapag 1, kahit hindi na natin yung sulat, sa so, pinakita ko lang. Okay? So, parang x tsaka 3x. Ngayon, mag-iisip tayo ng, mag-try tayo ulit ng factor ng 10 naman, o yung constant. Let's say ito muna yung 2 tsaka 5. Okay? So, sulat natin dito, plus 2 tsaka plus 5. Ngayon, check natin kung magtatali ba yung product nitong dalawa Tsaka product nitong dalawa, pag in natin, dapat equal dun sa, sa middle term na 17. So, 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. So, 6 plus 5 is positive 11. So, therefore, hindi. So, pag ganun, pwede nyo balik ta rin. Okay? Babalik ta rin nyo lang. Magagawin nyo namang 5 tsaka 2. Then, try nyo ulit. Yung inner to inner, so 15. Then, yung outer to outer, so 2. So, 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 2 is 2. Then, add nyo. So, positive 17. So, so tama. So, therefore, ito yung pipiliin nating factor. 2 tsaka 5. Kasi yun yung nagtali dito sa middle term na positive 17. Which is, ito na yun. Ito na yung factored form niya. Which is, x plus 5 times 3x plus 2. So, pag final natin, so we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 10 or 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. Okay, for the next example, we have 4x squared minus 15x minus 4. Okay, so this time, yung numerical coefficient ng x squared natin or yung a ay 4. And then, yung constant natin ay negative 4. So, ganun pa rin. Hanapin muna natin yung factors ng numerical coefficient ng x squared na 4. So, ano yon? So, pwede positive 2 times positive 2. Pwede ring negative 2 times negative 2. Ano pa? 4 times 1 or negative 4 times negative 1. So, sabi ko nga, hindi common na ginagamit itong 
negative factors dun sa numerical coefficient ng x squared. So, therefore, unay natin gamitan ng trial and error itong mga positive. So, itong 2 times 2, tsaka 4 times 1. Okay? So, hanapin naman natin ngayon yung factors ng constant na negative 4. So, pwedeng 2 tsaka negative 2 or negative 2 times 2. So, basically, pareho lang naman itong dalawa. No? So, parang kahit huwag na natin gamitin itong isa. Kasi pareho naman silang 2, di ba? Ano pa? Negative 4 times 1 or 1, negative 1 times positive 4. Okay? So, ngayon, try natin muna itong factor ng x squared na 2 tsaka 2. So, we have 2x tsaka 2x. Okay? Ngayon, try natin i-trial and error yung unang factor ng negative 4 na 2 tsaka negative 2. So, sulat natin. Plus 2 minus 2. Okay? So, ito. Ngayon, ang goal natin, dapat yung sum ng product nitong inner to inner tsaka ng outer to outer dapat ay negative 15 or negative 15x. So, try natin. So, 2 times 2x is 4x. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. So, pag ined natin, 0x or 0. So, therefore, hindi iyan. Okay? So, try natin. Baguhin naman yung position. So, magiging this time negative 2 tsaka positive 2. Okay? So, multiply natin. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. 2x times positive 2 is positive 4x pa rin. So, add natin. So, negative 4x plus 4x is 0x or 0. So, hindi pa rin. Okay? So, ngayon, try naman natin yung next factor ng negative 4. Ito, try natin itong negative 4 tsaka positive 1. So, minus 4 plus 1. Okay? So, multiply natin yung inner to inner. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Outer to outer, 2x times 1 is positive 2x. So, add natin. Negative 8x plus 2x is negative 6x. So, bali uli. Ngayon, reverse natin. So, plus 1 minus 4. Okay, so ganun lang yung step. Pag hindi nagtali doon sa isang uh, factor, ibaliktad nyo lang yung position doon sa dalawang uh, factor niya. Okay, so we have... 1 times 2x is 2x. Tapos, 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. So, add natin. 2x plus negative 8x is negative 6x pa rin. So, mali. So, try natin yung huli. Yung negative 1 tsaka positive 4. So, ito na tayo. So, negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. 2x times 4 is positive 8x. So, add natin. Negative 2x plus 8x, obviously 6x, so hindi uli. Then, balik ta rin natin. So, plus 4 minus 1. So, 4 times 2x is 8x, and 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Add natin, 6x. So, hindi pa rin. So, wala pa rin. Hindi pa rin na nakukuha yung factor. So, ngayon, napansin nyo, tapos na, ta na natin ma- trial and error lahat ng factor ng constant na negative 4. So, therefore, wala siyang pwedeng maging pair dito sa factor ng x squared na 2 tsaka 2. So, therefore, try naman natin itong 4 tsaka 1. So, 4 times 1. Okay? So, kahit wala naman na ito, ba? Kasi, 1 na lang yan. 1 naman yan. Okay? So, ngayon, try ulit natin itong 2 tsaka negative 2. So, plus 2 minus 2. So, we have 2 times x is 2x. 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. So, add natin. Negative 6x. So, mali ulit. So, balik ta rin natin. Okay? So, negative 2 plus 2 naman. So, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. 4 times... 4x times 2 is positive 8x. So, add natin. Negative 2x plus 8x is positive 6x. So, wala pa rin. Okay? So far, ang dami natin natatry, diba? Pero wala pa rin. So, try natin tong negative 4 tsaka positive 1. So, minus 4 plus 1. Okay? So, trial and error uli yan, ha? So, multiply natin. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. 4x times 1 is positive 4x. So, add natin. So, 0x or 0. So, hindi. 
try nating balik ta rin. So, plus 1 minus 4. Okay, so, 1 times x is x. 4x times negative 4 is negative 16x. So, add natin. So, x plus negative 16x is negative 15x. So, therefore, pareho na dun sa middle term. So, therefore, ito yung factor nung quadratic trinomial natin. So, ito yun. 4x plus 1 times x minus 4. Okay, so... Medyo mahaba yung naging paghanap natin ng factor using trial and error. Pero kapag nag-practice kayo ng nag-practice or nag-solve kayo ng nag-solve ng factoring of this form, masasanay din kayo at saka mahanap nyo yung technique. Then later on, magiging madali na lang sa inyo mag-factor ng quadratic trinomial of this form. Okay? Okay, for the next example, we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 2. Okay, same pa rin ito nung form na ax squared plus bx plus c, where a this time is positive 2. But notice na dun sa bawat term nung quadratic trinomial, meron silang common factor na constant, or GCF, which is 2. So, pwede natin i-factor out yon. So, magiging 2 times quantity x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay? So, therefore, napansin nyo yung na factored out natin na quadratic trinomial ay nawalan na ng numerical coefficient na 2 yung x squared niya since naging 1 na lang kasi finactor out natin yung 2. So therefore, pwede natin i-apply yung second case natin dun sa last dun sa previous video ko na factoring quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1. So therefore, hanap na lang tayo ng factor nung last term o yung constant term na 1 and then Pipili natin doon kung ano yung pag in natin, ayun yung magiging numerical coefficient ng middle term na x, so which is 2. So, obviously, 1 times 1, di ba? So, therefore, we have 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. So, therefore, it is the factored form. So, napansin nyo, kung meron kayong pwedeng ma-factor na numerical coefficient or constant GCF ng quadratic trinomial of the form ax for p plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 1, pwede nyo munang gawin yun. And then kung meron, mag end up kayo dito sa form na to, yung a nyo ay equal sa 1. So pwede nyo na-apply yung natutunan natin dun sa previous video ko about quadratic trinomial where a is equal to 1. Okay? Okay, this time, so solve naman natin yung quadratic trinomial where a is, e is not equal to 1 using the method 2, which is the magic x method. So, itong method 2, ito yung pinaka-general method na pagsasolve natin ng or pagpa-factor natin ng quadratic trinomial where a is not equal to 1. Kasi, ito, definite uh, way to ng pagpa-factor. So, hindi tayo magta-trial and error. mag end up tayo sa talagang pinaka-factor. Okay? So, try natin isolve yung example natin na 3x squared plus 17x plus 10 kanina. So, di ba, factored form niya ay 3x plus 2 times x plus 5. Right? So, ngayon, apply natin yung process ng magic x sa pagpa-factor dito. So, ang unang step, uh, dahil magic x, mag-draw daw tayo ng isang x. Okay? Then, the first step, multiply natin yung numerical coefficient ng x squared dun sa constant. So, we have 3 times 10 is 30. So, sulat natin yung sa taas ng x. Okay? And then, sulat natin sa baba yung numerical coefficient ng middle term o ng x term, which is 17. Okay? Ngayon, nag-iisip tayo ng factors noong positive 30 na kapag in natin ay mag equal doon sa 17. Okay? So, ano ba yun? Obvious. Ano yun? Pwede nyo i-list, pero kung naisip nyo naman na agad, kahit hindi nyo na-list, ano ba yun? Pwede. Obviously, 15 tsaka 2, ba? Kasi, 15 times 2 is positive 30. And 15 plus 2 is positive 17. Okay? So, ngayon, ang next step, yung nahanap natin na factors na to, yung 15 tsaka 2, i-divide natin dun sa numerical coefficient nung given quadratic trinomial, which is 3. So, so, divide natin both factor by 3. Okay, so therefore, we have, okay, rewrite natin. 15 divided by 3 is 5 over 1, and the other factor is 
already in lowest term, so 2 thirds. So, oh, take notice, ha, nilagyan ko ng 1 yung denominator. Hindi ko, na lang, hindi ko lang nilagyan ng 5, right? Kasi yung 5 is equal lang din naman yun sa 5 over 1. Kasi gagamitin natin ito mamaya. Itong mga denominators. Okay, so having found the lowest term of 5 over 1 and 2 over 3, ito yung gagamitin natin magiging factors no quadratic trinomial. So, yung 1 tsaka yung 3 o yung denominator, yun yung magiging numerical coefficient nung x natin. So, sulat tayo ng dalawang parenthesis. So, x saka x. Okay, so dito sa 5 over 1, ito yung 1, itong 1 denominator, susulat natin as numerical coefficient nung x. So, yan. Okay? And then, itong uh, sa 2 thirds naman, yung denominator nyo na 3, yun yung magiging numerical coefficient nung x natin para dun sa second factor. So, we have 3x. Okay? So, anyway, itong 1x, kahit wala na to, kasi 1 naman siya, sa so, algebra nyo na natin sinusulat yung numerical coefficient na 1. Okay? And then, yung mga numerators, yung 5 tsaka 2, yun yung ilalagay natin sa second term nung binomial factors natin. Okay? So, we have for 5 over 1, we have plus 5 and for 2 over 3 we have plus 2 okay so therefore ito yung factored form nga which is the same dun sa nakuha natin okay so ang advantage lang ng magic x method ay sure na makukuha yung factored kahit meron siyang sinusunod na step by step process kasi kapag trial and error pwede kayong swertehen makuha nyo agad yung factor sa isang trial lang pwede rin matagalan kayo, okay? Pero kung sanay naman kayo mag-trial and error by factoring, kasi mag magiging madali lang naman sa inyo mag-factor. So, I suggest mag-trial and error na lang kayo sa pagka-factor ng quadratic trinomial of this form. Kung saan, kung saan yung inyo nga hindi equal sa 1. Okay. So, that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.